You know the vibes, of course, this is the Quicksilver Show. We're Dominique the Diva. And I gotta give Diva all the credit in the world. I remember wow. maybe a few months back, she was like, hey, Quick, you gotta play this song in the Quick Mix. Yeah. They'd be like, look at me, freaky T. I'm like, what? She's yes. like, I'm telling you, bro, this the one. I Her did. name Ted Corinne. That joint go crazy. I, I said, send it to me. She airdrop it to me, so I play it. I'm like, Diva. I think I like this. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro, it's gonna go crazy. A, a month later, it's the biggest song playing in the club. See? And now she's here. We know it, Tim. Yes. Self is in the building. What's that, Neo? Hey, you owe her something because she. I really, know. Uh, 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 I I like she really was the first person to tell me about you. I, I never heard. I know who you are now, of course. But yes. I'm like, That's like, who? Like, go. Quick, you, you gotta get down with Tim. Correct. She on fire. I was excited about you. I was excited about you, and I've been doing radio for a I minute. Mean, I was looking at some old intern pictures. I was on mm -hmm. in 2009, and I, when I found you, though, I went go. I went to go looking. Yeah, that chair is weird. Sometimes yeah, it goes down. It's sliding. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. <laughs> but when I looked at your catalog, actually, you've been doing this for a long time too. So how does it feel for Freaky T to kind of be that one that kind of like trends and goes viral, and we play yeah. it just about every hour? Well, it's like like so. I had Lotto that went viral first. It was mm -hmm. like the second song I ever made. So it kind of just reminded me of that. I was yeah. like, oh, when I when I felt it happening, I was like, oh, I already know what's about to happen because this is exactly how lot of uh -huh. right. you know, so it felt good because like the COVID thing happened and that kind of messed up a, a lot, lot of things. things. So it was like, kind of had to start over. Right, you know? right, right, yeah. right. So and I was like, yeah, so we back on track. It feels good though. I love it. Well, congratulations to you. Yeah, Freaky C. It's such a, <laughs> yeah, it's so catchy. It's just a fun vibe and that's the whole vibe I get from all of your music and all of your mm. videos. Like, you really seem like you're, you're having fun. Yeah, exactly. That's mm -hmm. what it's about though. You should just be having fun. Absolutely. Like, it's fun. I love music. I'm just passionate about it, and I just like just do my thing. Now, for anybody who does not know Tick Rens, give us some backstory. You're from originally North Carolina. Yes, I'm from North Carolina, I'm from Winston Salem. Winston Salem, Carolina, not that far from Charlotte. All right, an hour away. Trade phone. That's okay. Where I the 34 mm -hmm. from. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean. That's where I'm from. I mean, I'm born. I still live there. Mm -hmm. I do think I moved. I'm still down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, still, I'm there. still around the way. How is yeah, it no. growing up being Freaky T, being so, like, fearless and being just yourself and so colorful and so fun and yeah. so funky and so Freaky T-ish <laughs> in Winston-Salem, though? How was that growing up being being that girl that yeah. you are? You know, like, I've always been that way, like, dress myself, you know, sometimes. Especially in high school, they used to be like, yeah, you use the stuff you wear. It doesn't matter. But it matches. It don't matter. Like, it's kind of weird. Like You're you unique. didn't think that right. that would go together, but it does. Yeah, you made it go together. So like, you just I was just always known for. I love Dressing that. and the smile and yeah. just being like goofy. I was like cool with everybody. Like everybody just always gravitated towards me even when I was little. Like it's just. Because you're a light. And, uh, yeah, I guess so. I'm going to tell you what's so crazy. Um, every Friday we go talk to young people because March is our National Reading Month. Mm -hmm. And the book we read today to the kids was called Be You. Yes, and like everything you're saying, I'm like, yo, she literally sounds like. We're reading the book. It was like, be yourself, be confident in yourself, be different, don't be afraid to go against the grain. Like everything mm -hmm. you're saying, we were just telling young people that. So yeah. to see you, I'm hoping that one of those young people are listening. Like, damn, she really made and, it. And it's hard. Like I get it because I remember when I first started wearing a mullet in Cairo, right there. Mm -hmm. You get asked her, like people was like definitely like, oh my god, you have a mullet. <laughs> they was laughing at me, but I, I liked it. I was confident and like I don't care if you don't like it. Mm -hmm. I like, love that. I know it's very it is hard people to be yourself because. You know the reaction you may get. Mm -hmm. it's, it's may not be what you want, but mm -hmm. who cares? Right. Like you just cannot care because like a lot of people don't even know what they like, and a lot right. of people say so that that's a vibe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they not they don't even know what they like, and a lot of people like I feel like they deflect onto you because they they can't be themselves. Exactly. So they just really that. just hating because they wish they had the confidence to do that. Mm -hmm. So don't let that you know see you wrong. Just be yourself. Just do what you want to do. Who instilled that in you growing up? My mom. Your, your mom. My mom. You guys she allowed, like that. Yeah, but she allowed me to be myself. Like if I wanted to be a ballerina mm -hmm. next week, she like okay, sign me up. I want to play hockey, play football whatever however I wanted to dress I wore the same shoes it was like these like they, they're like black and white like patent leather they look like church shoes but I just really liked them uh -huh. and I wore them with every outfit for like a whole week and my mom was just like do she I call her Mama Freaky T? What's her name? Uh, you know, we, so my friends actually <laughs> call her Pimp Betty. Okay. Pimp Betty. So, hey, oh, man. Look, look at me. Pimp Betty. Betty and my daughter Freaky T. Hey, Quick and Diva on the radio. Who we be? Uh, uh. And she was 
she, she, you know what? My mom is really with the shit. Like, she, she's a rock star. So <laughs> I love I get that. it from her, honestly. So when you started doing music, your mother was pretty much like, yeah, this makes sense for you? Or what yeah, did she, I mean, like, she, was okay with you taking it seriously when she yeah. tried to tell you to go, you know? I mean, I started off singing. I've been doing, like, this is just, I'm just really passionate about it. So when I did my first talent show, my dad actually had a conversation with me. He was like, this is what you want to do, man. You got to take it all the way. Like, you can't play. Yeah. Right. This is what you want to do. So they were always very, like, she made my little outfits for my little um, talent show. I had a little so backup cool. singer dancers. She made some little outfits. So my mom's just, like I said, she's always been there. Whatever I want to do, she's fully in. Shout out to Mama T. I'm going to tell you something yeah. crazy. You said you sing, and you don't even know this. We have a game we play every oh, day. God. No, no, you good. It ain't nothing crazy. We ain't going to set you up. We ain't going to set you up. But we have a game that's very, very popular called Think Quick. So what happens is Diva gives you a word, and you have five seconds to sing any song you want as long as that exact word is anywhere in the lyrics. So for example, if I said love, Diva was saying love. So many things I gotta tell you. Well, you could say Keisha Cole. Love. <laughs> if I don't have that thing for real, but my brain, it'd be it be going that fast. fast. It won't come out. It won't work fast. I know. I know. know it it give you five seconds. I don't know. Let's try. I'd be, be nervous. I, I got faith. It. I have let's faith try, in you. Here we go. All right. I'm five five seconds on the board. Here we go. Easy words. I'm stressing out. Okay, five seconds. Okay, here we go. Your first word is time. T I M E time. Five, four, three. Come on, Tigger. Mm. <laughs> Always time. Oh, yeah, you my. Uh, 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 <laughs> you my. Let's, let's try right. one more. Good. Let's, let's just start getting right. off to a bad start. Right. One right. more. Give us something easier. Uh, easy word. Easier than time. I don't know. Uh, I get a little shy in my brain. It's like, we got you. It doesn't work that fast. We got, we got, we, we have All right, another easy word, easy word. Here we are. Um, five seconds on the clock, quick. Mm -hmm. Your next word is... Go. G-O, go. Uh, I know a song. Yeah. It's your birthday. Go, go Shawty. <laughs> it's your birthday. <laughs> we go party <laughs> like it's your birthday. Yes, we're in the back. Show me a phone in the front. I'm feeling, girl, you live on the radio. You better sing something. <laughs> I'm like, it's your birthday. We usually don't. The first song I was thinking was that, is it common? That common. Girl, common. you could have. It went, because I'm saying I had it, it wouldn't come out. It's so cool. I don't know, man. So how's your studio? So when you go into the studio to, like, do your thing, do you have, like, a thing that you do? Um... I have like it's just like random. Like yeah, every day is different. Like sometimes like I wake up in the morning and that's the first thing I do is just start recording. But mm -hmm. it's like I may play like like ten beats before I find one that I like or I'm already have one and somebody just sent and I'm like, Oh, I wanna do this now mm -hmm. or like sometimes I write like little um I call them starters, like little yeah. bars, maybe yeah. like two or three and I I remember like, Oh, I wrote this and I was like, I think this will go perfect with this. Yeah. So I might use that to start me off or sometimes I just go and I turn my auto tune on and I just close my eyes and I just like Five hours find a tone. On. Yeah, because like where I started I used to just write first and I would write the whole song basically, then go record it. And sometimes it would be frustrating because it's not coming out how I heard it in my okay. head. Mm -hmm. Cause like you might need a certain tone and like it don't go. It's, yeah. It just wasn't going. So I was like I was tired of wasting getting mad because then I just would be like I'm not, I'm just right, off of no. it. I don't even want to record no more. So I just like, I go in there and find a tone first. The fact that you write your own music, that's commendable because you'll be surprised. A lot of new oh, artists, I'm not especially, surprised. Well, I know. A no, lot of new not. artists and seasoned artists, we ain't throwing shots to nobody. Yeah, but no, they, they really don't. Oh, well, if you were throwing shots. The real artists want to represent. Right. I just said, it's, the real will it's prevail. artistry, like this whole music, artistry. it should be. That's I thought that To me, I thought that was the fun part. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. But like I said, so, I always say it's the difference between rappers and artists. That's very true. And a real artist artists. writes their own music. Yeah, that's yeah. the fun part. So if you call yourself a rapper and you don't write, what do you call them? Well, I don't know. I mean, that's. You could be that's why I call people that are rappers that don't really always write their stuff, and then you know it's okay sometimes you get a I guess a some little help on something. But I feel like artists they really just care, they take pride in like actually creating it, like help making the beat. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I direct my own videos, like that's that's so dope. It's a whole that's thing, up. like you know? so keeping all the money. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, it's not gonna produce writer, rapper, yeah. artist, yeah. all that. Yeah, I'm not gonna be like if, I, if I'm writing something, like I can't just some people like hey, just put say something, like, I just can't say something. Like, everything got a hit. Yeah. Like, so what are you most looking forward to now? Oh, well, I'm still on tour, so I'm looking forward. And I thank you. Shout out to Key Glock for mm -hmm. asking me to be on. Yes. Really thankful. Key Glock. And just want to say his team of, is very nice and really supportive of me. That's and they're, like, really protective. So 
Yeah, but um, I'm really looking forward to having my own tour nice. and doing these festivals. That yeah, I'm I was gonna ask on. you because I know like festival stages, we are ready yes. to jump up yes. and down. Rock to City. City. Yes, Rockley City. Yes, we're gonna be there. Be there. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and then I'm going to Germany too. Oh, congratulations! I'm so excited. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Every day is like something new. Germany is gonna love you. Here's yeah, a question I want to ask because I'm sure you've done uh, tons of interviews over the last few months. Mm-hmm. What's something about it, Corinne, that none of us know? So it's a question that no one has asked you. Like this is this one thing that you're passionate about, something that you have fun doing that nobody knows. This is a quick and deep exclusive. Nobody you know what I'm knows. Doing. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows. Like something that you're great at. That nobody knows. That nobody knows. Mm-hmm. I would say I'm very uh, open. A lot of people know everything. <laughs> tell, me, tell me something. Give me something. Oh, I can. Uh, I can actually do like toes really good. Oh, you like pedicure? Yeah. How do you know that? You do. Your I just own? Was, I do my own, but then I do other people because they look at my toes, and then, and then like I just will look at some of my toes, and I'm like, let me do. You. Let me do you. Wow. I don't know why. It's like please. It's like please. Hey, we see your toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's sit down. Yeah, I just like to do it. I don't know. Is it like comforting? Mm-hmm. I've had some girls say like, I'm doing my nails now. I'm just being in the zone. Yeah, it's yeah, like. I'm on my phone, I'm zoning out, some mm-hmm. music, some tea, Korean oil. I mean, I just like, because like, you could just focus on one thing, and I don't know, but and I can do it. I want to say, <laughs> you're definitely dope in real life, man. Shout out to Dominic Thank D you. once again for putting me yes. down where you were, and I, like, I'm honored now to play your music and support you, because this is like, if I say you're day one, yeah. like, she's going to up. Oh, Yeah, I really appreciate that. Absolutely. Girl. We'll continue to support you no, here. So just you. keep coming back to the DM and the mm-hmm. V. We're going to get you some real authentic mambo sauce, chicken wings. Yes. We got you. I need okay. that today. The wings and the sauce. Probably. You take the fries and you dip it in the sauce. And I'm trying to draw that. Put it together. Exactly. All that. Wings, fries. Yes. If anybody not following you, we can they follow you on all social and get all your music right so now? You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter. They're all the same handles. Tia Corinne. T-I-A-C-O-R-I-N-E. And it's all one word, so when you look me up on YouTube, make sure you put it all one word. And Freaky T is also all one word. I've had people say they couldn't yeah. find it. It's all one word. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just Freaky it's and a T. All together. Yeah, and you can, I mean, I'm everywhere. SoundCloud. She definitely is everywhere. She oh, outside. Yeah. <laughs> look, look me up. Pick one to follow. Thank you, Tia Karen, right here. Thank you. Thank you.